Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vade, aka Pro Bench Woman. It is Friday the 13th, so I figured this today would be a perfect day to talk about my boy Bones here. We have a new Roman duelist in Duel Links, and it's Bones. If you remember him from the anime, he's actually the, the guy that Joey beat with uh, his horrible warrior uh, deck with shield and sword because all zombies have zero defense. And then uh, I believe Bakura just thrashed him when they were in Battle City so he doesn't have that good of a track record at all in the anime but it's perfect timing to put him in Duel Links now because it's around Halloween season and it's also Friday the 13th he was in here for a while now I believe um I think like three two or three days already I found him a couple times and I, I probably will show a, a footage of me farming him again but I just want to talk about the cards that he's given us because oh my god no nose dude just so creepy but let's look at it, the cards that he drops because with every roaming duelist comes some new cards and his aren't the greatest but i can see some potent potential here he's dropping pumpkin the king of ghosts which eh, it's, a, it's okay uh it's a if you really want to go into it, it's a six star 1800 attack monster where we have four star 1800 attack monsters in the game already but if they do unlock bones for us it gives us a pretty cool summoning animation and it has 2000 defense i mean that's okay it's effect that di directly correlates with uh castle of dark illusions which is the next card oh no it isn't okay well it is a card that bones drops he also gives us ryu koki which means if it, um which is a card that destroys warriors and spellcaster um, monsters after it battle it. It's a 6 star 2400 attack monster with 2000 defense. It's okay. I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think its effect is any type of good. I know there's an, uh, another counterpart card to it. That's I think it's the same type of body, but like if it destroy if it battles a zombie type monster, destroy it at the end of the damage step, but it is itself a warrior type monster, so I think they will cancel each other out and kill each other. Uh, I'm not too sure on that, don't take my word for it. The next card is, there you go, Castle of Dark Illusions. It's the weirdest attack and defense line ever. 1930 defense, 920 attack, so weird. But it boosts up um, zombie type monsters attack and defense by 2000 points when it's flipped. So you do want to set this as a 4 star, so it's okay, but it's not the greatest. <laughs> that boost is not worth it at all. Uh, Call it a mummy is actually the best card I believe Bones is giving us. Which, if we have no card, we control no monsters on the field. We can special summon a zombie type monster from the hand. But I wish it was from the grave because move using hand resources to just get a zombie type monster out on the field is not that great. I do see this being played in Zombie Gemini because you get to special summon a zombie from the hand. Sorry about that. Um, so you can get out ill blood and then normal summon it and then use that to get one of the zombies from the grave or a zombie from another zombie from your handout. So I do see that um, maybe with beatdown. I already have three of them. So maybe I'll try to build that type of deck. But other than that, I don't see the use for this. But who knows, man? Who knows? Next card we got is Monster Rebone. Now this, this card art is so cute. I think that's King of the Skull Servants over here. I'm not 100% sure, but it's like, um, if your opponent special summons a monster this turn, activate this card by targeting one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon that card to your side of the field in defense position. When this card leaves the field, banish that monster, and when this that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Now, this is weird because like your opponent has to special summon a monster. That's the first condition, which is happening a lot in uh, Duel Links at the moment, but once you face a deck that doesn't special summon a damn thing, this is a dead card. And then you take one of their cards from, you take a card from their graveyard and put it on your field and defense position. So it gives you some type of like defense for a little bit. And they ban that card gets banished when this card leaves the field. So maybe this plus Storm, but that's too much work. That like I feel like that's too much work to get this off. I don't think it's that good of a card yet, but who knows? Maybe somebody will see the 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 goodness behind this card because I don't see it. 
Uh, next is actually the Ghost Trick cards. We got Ghost Trick Ghoul, Ghost Trick Mummy, and Ghost Trick Skeleton. Um, I did some research on the Ghost Trick uh, archetype just to see if any of these cards are actually used in Ghost Trick decks. Um, Skeleton and Mummy are used. Uh, I haven't seen Ghoul in any of the decks so far. But I like the ghost trick idea of like it's kind of playing peekaboo. They get set and then they get to flip and then their effect go off and then they can go uh, face down. They have um, field spells like ghost trick mansion and ghost trick parade which we don't have in the game so far. But maybe in the future we get, might get more ghost trick support. But they make ghost tricks actually pretty decent. Uh, ghost trick scare is also a trap card that I think is pretty good. But other uh, ghost trick, the, the main part of the archetype of ghost tricks is setting, setting your opponent's monsters into face down defense position while you set your cards into face down defense position and attacking over face down defense position monsters and so on and so forth i think that's cool so far out of the ghost trick cards we got i think mummy and skeleton are the best because mummy lets you um get an additional normal summon of a ghost trick monster onto the field and skeleton mills your opponent's deck um banishes the top cards on in your opponent's deck uh, according to the number of ghost trick monsters on the field so if you can get the skeleton and the mummy and the ghoul out which is kind of possible you can flip up skeleton banish three cards flip it face down again and then attack maybe with mummy uh, using ghouls um, effect ghoul um, I think it takes the combined attack yeah the combined attack of all ghost trick monsters and put it onto one monster and it's until your the, your opponent's end phase so you get a nice beefy mummy uh, in the meanwhile, and you can also flip them face down and put um, Faint Clan in the deck so that you can stall out your opponent. I think I'm, I'm currently trying to theory up a deck with dual standby, but at the moment it's not really working. The next card is Clown Zombie and Armored Zombie. They're not good at all. You, <laughs> you know, you know that these are hot trash. But that's the cards that. My boy Bones is dropping for us. If you want a farming deck, I have the farming deck that's on the side. I don't have Cataville Omen because I did not level up Ishizu, but I'm currently doing that now. So if you want, you can replace Cata you can replace Pat Planet Pathfinder with Cataville Omen. The only reason why I have Planet Pathfinder in this deck is for that field spell that like when a mon when a monster of that attribute is uh, not attribute or probably like type or whatever it's called. Um, is summoned they can't attack that turn so it gives me stall to get um to get uh what's the trap card dimension gate out so that's that's the whole thing on the, the farming stay tuned for i guess a replay of me farming that being said have a great day peace out guys